Hi guys, welcome to the 35th video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So we are doing searching and sorting. And if you have not watched a single video yet, yet uh, you can watch all the videos in the playlist. I'll put the link in the description. Also check out the questions link in the description and all my solutions, whatever I have submitted will be there. We have already finished array, matrix and string. So please share the channel with all your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel and please like the video if you really like it. And uh, today we have to do these problems. So given a number n, the task is to find smallest number whose factorial contains at least n trailing zeros. So first of all, how to find, so first thing is uh, how to find number having n zeros in factorial. So how to find this? See, they're asking, find the smallest number whose factorial contains n trailing zeros. So in general, how to find for a number whose factorial contains n trailing zeros? Or rather, how to check if a number's factorial has n trailing zeros? So that will be a better question actually. So what is the first thing we have to know? First thing we have to know is how to find number of trailing zeros, trailing zeros in n factorial. How to find this? To find this, there is a simple formula so the number of trailing zeros in n factorial is equal to n divided by phi power 1 plus n divided by phi power 2 plus n divided by phi power 3 plus so on until n by phi power x this value becomes 0 integer division. So until this value becomes zero, we have to keep adding all these values. So this is a formula to find a number of trailing zeros in n factorial. How is it going to help us in this question? What we will be doing is in this problem, we have to find what smallest number whose factorial has n zeros. So first step is we have found out how to check the number of zeros in n factorial. So what we will do, we know how to check, right? So first thing is we, we can check. We can check it. We can check what, how many zeros in n factorial we can check. Second step is what? Second step is apply binary search. As it is a searching problem, Linear search will not work. It will take n time. And this will take what? Log n time. So this is faster. So binary search will help us solve the problem. Okay. So what is the binary search code? So what is the code that I have written? I'll show that to you. So I have, so this is the function find number. We are taking a number n. If n equal to one, we just return five because five factorial is 120 and 120 has one trailing zero. 
that is why if n equal to 1 we directly return the answer as 5 otherwise we have to apply binary search now for binary search the upper bound is 0 and sorry the lower bound is 0 and upper bound is 5 times n there is a mathematical formula for this i am not so sure about that but i will if you want to know that you can check on uh, cp algorithms what is the mathematical proof for this basically it is finding the prime factors i think uh 5 that is the number 5 as prime factor in x or something like that i am not so sure about the mathematical aspect but this is what it is lower bound is 0 upper bound is 5 times n and we apply binary search now while applying binary search we just check if for mid value we have n zeros as trailing if it is the case then we set h as mid because now we want to find for smallest so we will check on the left side before this let me tell you one thing in general in general binary search problems has one thing we will apply binary search we will say while l less than h okay we will find mid value mid equal to something okay mid is nothing but what mid is equal to l plus h minus l by 2 okay then we will say if there will be some condition we have to check this condition and outside this we will write some function to check for condition and accordingly we will set h and l values so if you want to find the smallest we have to go to the left side we have to go to the left side if you want to find largest you have to go on the right side so accordingly we will set conditions this is the standard way of doing binary search problems make a binary search function calculate mid as l plus h minus l by 2 write a condition according to the problem write a condition in the if uh, statement and then go either left or go either right whatever is suitable in this case we want to find smallest see we want to find what we want to find smallest number so smallest number means if this is satisfying if mid is satisfying then what will satisfy then the left sub array will satisfy i hope you are understanding what i'm saying see if this is the search space and at this point it is satisfying a condition is satisfying we want to find smallest then we will go to the left side we will go to what we will go to left side not right side that is what we are doing here we will go to the left side otherwise we will go to right side and ultimately our answer will be in l only you can check this out our answer will be l only now what is this check condition this check condition is nothing but as i told you how to find out number of trailing zeros in n factorial that is what is this so i first suggest you to go and check how to find number of trailing zeros in n factorial count of trailing zeros in n factorial go to geeks for geeks and find that out so that condition you have to write so we are writing that boolean condition check if it is true we will return one otherwise false so that is how we are solving this problem if it is true we will check on the left side to find a smaller answer just be careful h is not mid minus 1 why is it not mid minus 1 because this is satisfying right this current mid value is satisfying so we set h as mid not mid minus 1 otherwise we set l as mid plus 1 because that means it is not satisfying so mid is not answer so mid plus 1 will be answer in this case mid might be answer that is why h is equal to mid i hope you understood this problem this smallest factorial number whatever so this is quite an important problem that mathematical formula also remember it and i'll put the links in the description okay don't need to worry so much so next problem is book allocation problem now this is a very famous problem in binary search 
so i hope everybody knows this by, uh, before only because i will not be explaining completely if you want a complete comprehensive solution i will put a link in the description you can check that video so already that person has explained very well so i will not be wasting too much time over there you can check that video only but what this problem says is basically let us take a small example so what the problem says is let us say there are four books okay first book has 10 pages next has 20 next has 30 next has 40 and there are k students let us say there are two students we want to divide the books and pages in such a way that maximum number of pages a person reads is minimized i'll repeat that maximum number of pages a person reads is minimized for example if i say first person reads these two books so he reads 30 pages second person reads these two books he reads 70 pages so maximum is what here now 70 so maximum was 70 in this case but what if i say first person reads 60 pages and second person reads 40 pages so maximum is now 60 see the maximum is minimized we have minimized the maximum that is the goal of this problem either we have to return minus 1 when we cannot solve it if the conditions are wrong or we have to return the minimized maximum value so that is what this problem is saying i suggest everybody to read this problem i'll put a link of the video in the description but more importantly i want you to check why this solution is wrong so i will show you the solution what i have written it is not getting accepted on gfg please tell me what is wrong in this so this is my code this is find pages okay this will return the answer basically again we are using binary search only and we are just having a check condition if it is true we are going to check on the left side because we want to find minimum otherwise we go on the right side and this check condition is basically for a given number of pages is the configuration correct so this configuration correct means can the given set of students read that many number of pages so as i said i won't be explaining over here too much because it is already very well explained in a video you can watch that only it is very much understandable and i studied from there only so please watch that video but before that before going tell me why the solution is wrong why is this not working i will put the link of the solution in the description you can check it out why the solution is not working what is wrong is something wrong in this condition in this while loop while doing binary search is something wrong or while checking for this is something wrong what is wrong is the checking configuration wrong i don't know i am not getting the answer please let me know in the comments please solve this okay so for this video that's all problems are becoming little harder so it takes time for me also to solve understand and explain So thank you for watching this much and please keep supporting me like this share it with all your friends and uh, have a good day it's almost evening now so anyway i'll see you guys in the next video take care stay tuned bye